Hi guys, it's Judy Litt. You may or may not have other people joining us at some point. I just wanted to come and share some of the place where I'm out and about and also give you a little pranayama you can try. Uh, sorry for all the hat and everything. <laughs> anyway, um, you may or may not have heard of Nadi Shodhana and that is alternate nostril breathing. And generally it's done with your hand and you pinch off your nose. But I want to give you a different option so that you can do it hands free. And that is going to take just a little bit of imagination. So come to a comfortable seated position. Close your eyes if that's comfortable for you. Let your breath just naturally begin to slow down. Noticing how you become calmer as you let your breath slow. And then, and you can also be standing. I'm standing right now. And then breathe in through your right nostril. And imagine going up to the point between your eyebrows. And from there, let it come down to your left nostril. Breathing out through your nose. Everything's done in and out through your nose. And then we go across to our right nostril again. So it's breathing in and up. And out and down. In and up. Out and down. Just continuing on to your own rhythm, in and up, out and down, noticing how this shape is a triangle, in and up and over. And triangles are often considered to be sacred geometry and can also be a symbol of uniting your body, mind, and spirit, which is really what yoga is at its most basic. It's not just our asana. Yoga comes from the Sanskrit word yuj, which is often defined as yoke. It could also be considered joining, so joining your body your mind, and your spirit. That's really where we're trying to get at with our yoga. Let's take a couple, another minute here, breathing in through your nose on the right nostril, up to between your eyebrows, and then letting that go, exhaling through the left nostril. Yoga doesn't always have to be on your mat. It doesn't have to be a sauna at all. Pranayama is a big part of yoga. It's one of the eight limbs of yoga. Let that go now. Just begin to breathe normally. And I just want you to notice how you feel. Notice if maybe there's a difference from when you started this pranayama to where you are now. You can also, of course, continue on if it feels right for you. I just wanted to give you a little taste today, a very short pranayama that can take you out of your busy doing being world and into the present moment. I hope you enjoyed this short video. If you did, please click the like button. If you want to know when new videos are added to this channel, generally Sundays in the morning, please go ahead and click subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me today.
And I hope that you go into the rest of your day, wherever that may be, whatever at time you might be at, with a little more calm. And remember to every day go inside and find that calm, that bliss. It's always there waiting for you.